Hi folks, Al Puglisi with Tommy Gilbert today at Gilbert's Hobby Shop and today we're going to do a segment on the Wall of Brass. How you doing Tommy? Pretty good Al. Tell us about the Wall of Brass, what we're looking at here. The Wall of Brass is a assortment and collection of different brass imports anywhere from PFM, Balboa, uh, to uh, Gome. Mm -hmm. They don't make that many anymore. So okay. the secondary market has evolved. Uh, Howard was in on it. I was right. in on it. Danny Strange is in on it. But we still sell plenty of brass. Okay. Even though the new engines like Broadway and the Bachman and the Protos are competing with it, uh, we're still selling, uh, I think, a lot of, of steam brass because the detail is great, the collectability is great, and you can convert them to DCC. Right. Plus, they're never going to make stuff like an EL3 B&O or no. hundreds and hundreds of locomotives are available in brass you can't get in plastic or die cast. Yeah. And they're never going to make all these engines again, I don't think. I don't believe they will. I think it's going to be a lost art. There's a lot of good books published on it. The Art of Brass mm -hmm. and uh, the Lexicon, uh, which we have the book, The, the Art of Brass, okay. is available. But many of these brass engines, the detail and the castings are still available to upgrade your locomotives, whether they be Penline or Bowser mm -hmm. or even a brass loco. Right. But so many of these are just not available anymore. But they will run. Right. You know, now you can convert them with new cam motors and you can put the DCC and sound in them. Uh -huh. You just have to get a painter, which I'm not volunteering because I'm still behind on my work. Right. But there's a there's a lot of beautiful engines out here that I don't think will ever be made again. Yeah, I don't either. And let's I'm gonna pause this and let's take a quick look at some. Let me hit the pause button. All right, speak of the devil, this is a B&O EL3. Tommy, let's talk about this. I'm going to do a close-up and okay. just the detail. Sunset Models made them. They made the EL3A, and I think they made a U-Class B&O uh -huh. engine. These are pretty rare, and this one is mint. You know, we sell it for $7.95 plus right. the shipping. And it, uh, it is, the detail of it is just incredible. Beautiful. Yep. And, and then You're let's, not going to get it in plastic unless you take something and create it yourself, which is still model railroading, the fun of the hobby. Right. You know. And then here above it is this little Shea I see up there. This is a little Climax Class A from Westside. Wow. Runs good. Got to keep the gears greased. They're all brass gears, but mm -hmm. it runs real good. Here's another good engine by Gome, NJ International, the uh, Switcher? Great Northern. And this is the A1 Class 484. Holy they cow. run great. Here's another nice one. Now, I know Broadway's got their T1 out, but here's one by Key Limited. All right, let me let me zoom out here a little, Tommy. Bear with me here. Okay, I see the T1 here that's brass. Yep. And who made that one? That one's made by Key Limited. Wow, wow. Why don't you point out some, just walk through, and let me pan back here. Let me. Here's another nice one. You know, the uh, Oriental, our uh, Overland Models, Redding, uh -huh. 442. What Rare size, model. What size drivers are those? I think they got to be 80 inch or God, 82. They're, they're huge. They're enormous. All right, let me pan yeah. back here. All right, go ahead and walk through and point to a couple and I'll zoom in. We have diesels up here, uh -huh. the boats and the uh, switchers. Uh -huh. If a person wants them in brass, we have the NW2 here, uh -huh. unpainted brass by Alco. Let me come around the other way here, Tommy. This wall is so big. We have B and O here, the O E O. All right, let me let me hone in on that one there. And then we got a... the E twenty seven A by P F M. Wow. Still good running pieces. Holy smokes! All right, let me. We have an O N three E B T number sixteen mm -hmm. up there by Sunset. Wow. Yeah. These two Great Northern, or what are these below it? Those two black ones, uh, those this Great is, Northern? Yeah, this is a WNR 280. And this is by Boone Rim. It's factory painted, very mm -hmm. collectible. Okay, expensive. Then right. 925. Then we have a 10 Shoto Great Northern L1 2662 factory. This is the first run. Wow. All right, let me pause this real quick here. Second. All right, Tommy, what is this Challenger? This, what is this it? This is a. Uh, 
PFM Tenchetto Great Northern Z6 4664. Okay, factory painted Great Northern. I've also repainted some of these in glacier color as pe people want them. Mm -hmm. I also have the Northern Pacific version up here, and this one has DCC and sound. Oh, wow. There. How much is the, uh, okay, that's the uh, Great Northern for 375 bucks. So, or that's the one below it. Right below it. Right. All right. This is an F8 PFM 280, and this is a uh, factory painted in the black. They wow. did make them in the Glacier Park colors. All right. Let me pan back here to some more of these Great Northern. Let me go back to that Challenger. How much is that Z6? Z6 is $1,200. She's a big, uh, big, big engine. Locomotive. All right. Let's pause it here. Hey, Tommy, these are the, the Howard Zane, uh, I guess, what could have been series. Right. And what let, you can make a comment about these. It's totally scratch built, has figures in it, weathering, people, uh, good trucks, couplers, Howard scratch builds every one of them. Wow, yeah. and they're they're a lot of them are one one off or they're one of a kind one of a kind cars, yep. folks. And you can call Tommy and get pricing for any of this stuff, or you can get a hold of Howard. Yep, or me or Howard or any yep. of us. And he has a passenger car, Lehigh Valley. Uh, the price on this is three twenty-five. Totally scratch built. Uh, Central Valley trucks. Wow. Katie Cuppers figures. Holy cow! Let me pause. And figures aren't cheap. Right. Let me pause this here. Hey, Tommy, tell us about this case. This case, it, the inventory is comprised of buildings, battlefield, battleground buildings made by Gary Manville up in Blairsville, Michigan. Okay. He came in my store one day buying a bunch of scratch building material and titchy windows. I said, what the heck do you do with this? And he brought a couple of buildings in. I said, I want to sell them. Mm. They're totally scratch built. They didn't sign. And we're making a diorama of Gettysburg over in our other window. It's a slow process uh -huh. because we're trying to get our, our dimensions right on it. Wow. But we're using his buildings. Now, this one is the house of John Burns, the hero of Gettysburg. All right, let, me, let me, okay, zoom in there. All right, now, which house was that? Right here. This okay. is the John Burns house. Wow. This is the Weinbrenner house. If you've been to Mr. G's ice cream parlor, this is the structure as in it town. was. Oh, wow. Now, we also have, if you can get a zoom in here, the Sachs Covered Bridge. Oh, my goodness. All in HO scale. All in HO scale. Here's Lee's headquarters right, right here. Wow. And the barn next to it, that beautiful barn. That right big here. Red this barn. Is... Let's move the glass if we could on that. Let me zoom out here. Folks, all of these are for sale. Contact Tommy Gilbert for pricing. And we do 10% um, off of the price. Yeah, they are absolutely beautiful. Wow. Let me pause this. All right, Tommy, let's uh, talk about this big building here in the this center. This big building, if you're a Gettysburg College alumni, you should recognize it. It's Penn Hall. This is a field hospital during the war right wow. here. And this is HO scale. It's a huge building. Right. Now, what's this sell for? That sells for four hundred and thirty-five dollars. You get forty-three fifty off. Right, and uh, it takes a tremendous amount of time. This oh, thing yeah. is built absolutely from scratch, folks. These are all scratch built. This is the Fonsworth house. If you've eaten at the restaurant, mm -hmm. this is the house as wow. it was in eighteen sixty-three. Right down the street is the Shriver house, and they give tours through that. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Um, Let's talk about down here. Here you go. Hold Let on, me bring man. this one up. Because I know, and this reopened, and it's a restaurant, and a good one. What, that stone house? No, right here. Oh, that house, next to it. Yeah, let's pull it out. Let's take a close look at it. Let me get it up someplace. Oh, man, look at that. This is the famous Cash Town Inn, which is up on Route 30, mm -hmm. as it appeared. And at that time during the battle, it was called the Cash Town Hotel. Wow. Now... We can either put them, we can either set them up with the ghost or without the ghost. What's the deal with the ghost? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't get light it. light inside. They say that one of the rooms is haunted. I won't dispute it. I've never had the experience. Wow. And this is uh, and the now. The same way with the Fonsworth house. All right. That, that has a, a ghost in it. A ghost. This house. And which yeah. one's a fine restaurant? 
This is a fine restaurant okay. here. Okay, okay. And the Cash Town's a fine restaurant. Oh, wow. And then we have the Dobbin House, and I have right here. All right, bear with me. Why don't you open up the glass there? And Well, maybe we can't get it open. It's a little, little heavy. And if you get onto our Facebook, we have done interviews... With Gary Manville, the creator of all these, what? and these are these are done right to scale. For instance, this is the Lutheran Theological Seminary. Holy cow! All right. And that is that is built right to scale, and we have the front as well as the back. Wow! And this is the back side. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is the back. The back, the back looks just as good as the front. Yes. I mean, you can't really. And this is also the cupola, where. Uh, Lee and Buford stood up at the uh, top right now. This is the cemetery gatehouse There are two versions of this This is present day. Mm -hmm. This is as it was in 1863 Okay, so the one with the dark roof is the 1863, 1863 version and the one and with the white roof is today's version I know you've all eaten at this restaurant it's our famous Dobbin House. I've never, yeah, I gotta go there. Very good. And then I'll top off with our own, as it was, Lincoln Train Station, which is the Gettysburg Old Western Maryland Station, which is open up for tours. Oh wow, that's just right up the road. So yep. on the way right home, I'm gonna stop by and take a look at that. That's literally just a minute right up the street yep. from the shop. And we also have, this is a new one we got in from him, as it was during the war. This would be, uh, this would be the David Wills house, which is right on the square of Gettysburg. Oh my goodness. And like I say, these are totally scratch built, and he gets them to scale as much as possible. They're beautiful. Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful. And Folks. these are all signed and dated by the creator. Wow beautiful yeah. and they're on your facebook page they're and what's on our facebook page and your, your facebook is to send photos or information if anybody's interested yeah and your facebook page is what tommy gilbert trains i think it's gilbert hobbies dot i think it's gilbert hobby shop or okay gettysburg hobbies okay under facebook yeah under facebook tommy thanks so much for showing us quite this welcome our pleasure all righty bye-bye